Hey guys, welcome back. BGCKR here. We're about to open 100 challenge packs. This is all the stuff in our collection that we're having to start with, and we'll speed up this footage and see you on the other side. So, that was a hundred packs, let's see what we got. One, two, three, 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 different characters we've gotten in the challenge pack, and let's look and see how many copies of each. Aquaman. Six copies. Aquaman. Three, Three copies. Bang. Four. Bad girl. Five. Batman. Three. Batman. Eight. Oh, he would have been yep. Yeah, he was enough. Batman. It did seem like that. Five. It did seem like we got a lot of Blackest Night Batman. And yeah, like a four. disproportionate yeah. amount. Four. We got like two or three Deathstroke. really early on, too. Deathstroke. Five. Doomsday. Five. Green Lantern. Four. Killer Frost. Five. Martian Manhunter. Five. Raven. Four. Scorpion. Five. So this does look like it's falling kind of within the range of normal luck, right? That was four. Two. Static. Two. Superman. Two. The Flash. Four. Okay. Oh, and Wonder Woman. Seven. Well, that's 22 characters. Zatanna. 23 characters. 4. Zod. 25. 2. 2. Okay, so it looks like that does kind of fall within the average range of what would be luck. What I find kind of weird is that it seems like the, the names with the in-between number of letters are selected more often than names that are closer to the beginning or end of the alphabet. So that's crazy. That's what 15 million power credits will get you. It will get you potentially one character fully elite and everybody else sort of, you know, in between. And I guess we can look back and maybe uh, take a look at our regular collection and see if anybody's missing. Yeah, this average is out pretty nicely. It, do it does look mostly random. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Komoda.